The Australian cricket team, as we know, has been caught red-handed cheating after batsman Cameron Bancroft was spotted using tape to tamper with the ball. A move captain Steve Smith says was devised by the leadership team. I'm embarrassed. I know the boys in the shed are embarrassed as well. Um, and I, I feel for Cam as well. Um, you know, it's not, it's not what we want to see in the game. It's not what the Australian cricket team's about. Now, the admission comes on day three of the third test in Cape Town. To tell us more, we're joined this morning by Andrew McCormack from outside Cricket Australia in Melbourne and Simon Reeve in the studio here with us. We need to call this exactly what it is. It is cheating. It's almost unthinkable that the Australians could imagine they'd get away with it, Simon. Definitely, Baz. Look, I think the Australian cricket captain is considered to be the most important position in Australian sport. So when you take that job, you take all the responsibility and the moral authority, I think that's important that goes with it. So what Ange said before, Ange Mollard, I think the stupidity of this decision mm. goes through the chain of command. So Darren Lehman, we don't know if he was complicit in this as well, but they say no. a lot of people are saying they think yes, you know. Mm. So the fact that they thought that this was a good idea with all the cameras that are on, with all the young kids are looking up to these mm. guys as role models and that's what they are, that I think is what we're wrestling with right now. And that's why so many other cricket legends and greats of the game are now coming out and saying that, hang on, you know, we, th we can't blow this through, that Steve Smith and this leadership team have a lot to answer for here. Yes, uh, people are saying that an apology isn't enough. Andrew, Steve Smith says that he won't step down as captain. What are the repercussions here? Well, look, uh, under ICC law, uh, ball tampering comes under, I think it's a Section 2 offence, which uh, inc uh, incurs a certain amount of demerit points and about just a one or two test ban. So from that uh, standpoint, he's set to miss at least one or two tests, perhaps the, the definitely the remainder of the series. There's only one test to go after uh, this third test now. So he's going to miss from an ICC standpoint, you would think. Now, uh, as along with Cameron Bancroft, now Smith doesn't want to resign at this stage, but, uh, I mean, the fact that they conspired it wasn't just a heat of the moment uh, see the ball on the ground and you know rub it against a spike on your shoe or you know something on the ground that they conspired you know to do this quite deliberately uh, and uh, it was involving a number of senior players in the team the leadership group you'd have to think that that would involve mm. vice captain David Warner Nathan Lyon another senior member of the yeah. team so but the other thing is who replaces Steve Smith that's that's a message uh, that Cricket Australia are gonna have to get across quite today. right given that they're all complicit now Shane Warren who's had his own pitfalls and uh, trials and tribulations, as we know, has condemned the action. He says responsibility shouldn't fall solely with Bancroft. Here's what he said. I feel a bit for Cameron Bancroft because I don't think he's taken it upon himself to do something and put it in his pocket. He would have been, now who's told him to do that? How does he say, well, you're the man that's going to do that? I, I don't know what that process is, so it's important to find out that. The issue for me here too, Simon, is Cam Bancroft, a young man in the team, wants to earn his place. Mm. Did he feel like this was the way to earn his place? And if he feels that, what does that say about the or culture in the team? Or did he feel under team? pressure to do it because he's not a senior member of the team? That's right. The forensics of this mm. incident over the next few days will be fascinating. But I think that, you know, I, I, I look at a guy like Steve Waugh and think, you know, he was my, like, idol yeah. in, this, in the sport of cricket. And... I don't think he would ever condone anything no, like this. No, certainly. One thing we have to say too, the Aussies, and particularly our Aussie cricketers, very quick to point the finger at others. Completely. As recently as this Test Match yep. series, now it's being pointed squarely at us. At least they did admit it, but really they had no choice because the cameras captured them Absolutely. red handed. So I this does call for it absolute and total review. Completely. I always say, I want to like the Australian cricket team. They're my team. I really want to like them. But I struggle all the time with this sort of stuff. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, we are out of time, but uh, we'll be discussing it throughout Thanks, the morning. Thanks, Simon. Thanks, Andrew. Uh, yeah, as people's reactions come in. Andrew and Simon, thank you.